Hello, one and all. Welcome to the final level of Banjo Kazooie. Now, this level, if you guys are playing along, I'm gonna suggest you don't go straight into this level if you ain't got a lot of time in your hands. Because this one is very time consuming, especially if you're watching a walkthrough like mine where I'm only 99% aware of where everything is. Percent aware of where everything is. It's hard to say that. It can actually be understandable. 99% aware of where everything is. So that's people. Now, you probably notice the first room is everything's locked. Every single door is locked. Walk around a little bit. You're thinking it's like something you gotta do in another level or in Grunty's Lair. Except for the switch here. <laughs> the sword switch is like farther away. And it's just, I, I remember I missed the switch my first time playing. I was like, what? I was like, what kind of level is this? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you see, this is like a little hub area, actually. This is like a second Gruntilda's lair, almost. Because there's no level here. Nothing really to do in here. There's only a few enemies, but... If you go into each of the appropriate areas, you'll see the level actually begins. Now, this is... A click Clock Wood... How Click Clock Wood works is there are four seasons. And that room is basically like your time travel room. And you need to time travel between the four seasons to make progress in this level. Now, get out of this I guess I, I call it time travel. I guess the game doesn't really refer to it as time travel. I guess it's, it's weird. It's weird how this works. What you're gonna notice is going through the same place four times in a row. I don't think it's really worth it. I'll waste two gold feathers and get one gold feather. No. I haven't noticed yet yeah, these birds are a lot like the ones in uh, Flanker's Cavern. I'm not waiting yet. Time for... Let's Which is vital. Sorry. I was trying to get my mic to pick up. Like, it's picking up, it's just not picking up very well. So I'm not being very loud, and if I'm not being very loud, that's not cool. We want gold feathers. Gold feathers are... And they might not seem like it right now, but later you'll discover that gold feathers are actually going to be one of your most valuable items in this level. Maybe not this, it's this one. Spring, they're pretty useless. But, uh, all the other seasons are not. I'm not even going to use them in spring. Like, if I see one of the snappy plant things, whatever they're called, uh, bear, bear snare, I think they're called. I'm not even gonna waste my time with them. And there's plant. Doesn't, does, now, a lot of people have come up with the conclusion that beta or something like that. And I'm not sure about the beta, but I'm positive in the final version. And it doesn't do anything in Spiral Mountain. You guys can try to prove me wrong, but I don't care. Can't do anything in Spiral Mountain with that. But if you haven't noticed yet, this is like the final level. It's like a crossover of the thing, some of the things you've already seen. It's kind of like Banjo's final final uh, stand. Actually, I think in the promotional video for this game, they actually even say this is like his final stand worldwide. It's like everything he's already seen has come together in one big world. I don't see no Rusty Bucket Bay here, and you shouldn't see any Rusty Bucket Bay here, correct? The Clanker's Cabin. If I see freaking Clanker swimming around in Click Clock Wood, that'd be freaking awesome. No one, no one, no one do that, though. That'd be a scary mod. Or hacker, or whatever it is with Banjo Kazooie. It'd be uh, terrifying, actually. Giant fucking Clanker. Now, you're gonna notice that there's, uh. There's some things here you can't do right now. And, um, that's, that's seasonal. That's one of the seasonal things about this level is that if bettering on what season you're in will control what is physically possible for Banjo. For Banjo. Don't need to go that way. Go this way. The other way is pointless as of now. You can tell that, that you can barely do it. I'm gonna do it as the, uh... Transformation. The transformation, it does not attack. That's why it's called a bear snare. And not a snare in general. Yeah, those little green things, those pod things, are actually leaves. They're just curled up right now. They haven't bloomed yet. They will bloom during the next season. 
and then they'll shrink and shrivel up and fall off. I should say the next is during the summer they will expand and be usable. But as of now they are just curled up leaves you can't jump on. And that is kind of pointless. I don't know how you're supposed to do this, but I think I'm doing it right. Like, that's how I've always done it. It's also really hard to fucking do successfully if it's your first time playing. I'm really fucking good at it now. Here come both of them. Here come both of them indeed. That is one of the only things you will see here without the bees around it. Yeah, that's another thing. During the spring, I guess the bees don't come out. They don't come out during the summer. So the beehives are going to have bees on them. How the hell do you get floating pieces of wood like this? I'm just curious. Remember how I said this game wasn't very artificial with its. They didn't have any floating blocks or anything? Just kidding. That's actually just like their attempt at making things look realistic, I guess. Not realistic, but uh. You'll see it later. It's like the person that are building it. And I, I think originally there were supposed to be like sp sprites of like metal bars like that between them. But it became like too much work. And it is better off to let them float. Because no little kid would give a shit. That was a terrifying sound effect. You guys are all going to see that in your nightmares now. Or hear that in your nightmares. Be more precise. Also, there is 25 freaking mumble tokens in this level. That is a lot. I don't know if it's 25 or 20. One of the two. Either way, it's a big number. Because normally it's like 5 in small levelers, like level levers. Levels like Mumbo's Mountain or Clanker's Cavern. And then the rest of the levels will have 10 or 15. This one has like 20 to 25. Which is just. It's, it's crazy the mumble tokens here. But again, there's four seasons. So they can hide them. Ah! Ready, Eagle! Need sneak now. And he falls asleep on them. Brilliant Nintendo. Or rare. Or whatever. He fell asleep. <laughs> Little kids will never know what's going on, you know. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, Irie or Eerie. Is it pronounced Irie or Eerie? That's the thing with this game is you can never know how to pronounce things. That's how all Nintendo games really are. You never really know how to pronounce stuff. It's all spelled weird. Don't need to worry about that right now. Go in here, and nothing's gonna happen. We're not. This is actually like my favorite room in the whole game right here. This is just so awesome. And these things won't actually attack. Oh, they will attack. What am I saying? They won't like move or anything. I was to say. So as long as you're careful with the way you run, there shouldn't be any threat. Oh my god, I'm thinking of like, like just going into like Assassin's Creed 3. And just climbing in the tree parts would be awesome. Can I perform a leap of faith over here? This is like a something turning Banjo Kazooie in the Assassin's Creed. Can I leap of faith off this ledge? No, I cannot. It's not the ones. I think we're referred to it as whenever I jump into the water, because this is what it is in Assassin's Creed. Just, I don't know, okay, if I jump in the water, it's a really high up ledge, it is officially. Jump off from. Go in that water banjo. Oh, that's somebody moved this boulder. Naughty can't get in his house. Also, Naughty, that is actually the name and the same species, because both, they're both beavers. It's actually the same exact enemy from the Donkey Kong series. You guys can't tell. Yeah, there's a lot of characters in both Banjo Kazooie games that you're going to discover are actually. Um, Donkey Kong characters, and vice versa. Like, in Don Banjo-Tooie, there's even an enemy that's actually directly ported from, uh, 
Donkey Kong 64, or Donkey Kong 64 is an enemy directly ported from Banjo Kooey, whatever, whichever one's more accurate. Either way, there's an enemy that's in both games, exactly. And it's just funny because one's Banjo Kazooie and one's Donkey Kong, and they got the same exact enemy programming and everything. I'm very hungry now, I need five caterpillars. Okie dokie. You know what I forgot to do? I forgot to go turn into Mumbo. Or turn into something with Mumbo, whatever. Whatevs. You gotta finish each season before you move out of Mumbo. That could be useful. Especially in this level where they're like, there's they, there's no gold feathers in this level, seriously. But uh, yeah, I, I unlocked the summer, and I was almost about to go in there, and I feel like, oh fuck, that's you. The fucking mumbo part. Yeah, you see here, you can walk up on these curled up leaves, but it's really hard to do. Also, they have really bad polygons. But that's just N64 programming, I'm not gonna argue. N64 wasn't a very capable system, so... Bad polygon, that's nothing to worry about. Let's just stop that. Real quick. Yeah, another thing is you gotta look on top of Mumbo's, Mumbo's, Mumbo's huts here. One of them has a Jinjo. I'm not sure which season, I think it's winter. Which is, uh, amazing. Because winter has, uh... Has, uh, Mumbo's head. I am a bee. Mumbo magic, much good. B is best yet. Yes. And why is this his best transformation? Because you can fucking fly, man. Oh, there's a bar holding in place. I didn't know that. Okay, a is death. That sound effect is annoying. As you can see, he won't snap you because you're a B. And you know, B's pollinate plants. It's like, oh, yeah, whatever. Whatever. Also, there's a flying pad there you can't use. That's, uh. Oh, she's not there yet. That's weird. Oh, crap, I almost forgot there's a beehive here. You can see there's a little hole in it. You move faster. There's a way to move faster, isn't there? I don't know how to control this thing. To my understanding, it's just really bad controls. <laughs> Hello, fast little bee. Me, Zabba, Zan, Kanadin, got to take this golden honey piece. We've been told there's a honey bear out there. Hmm. Interesting, interesting indeed. It's a pink ginger. And I do indeed want it. <laughs> this place is delicious. Also, there's nothing you can really do in here. Um, it's all just... One Jinjo is all you can do. But later we will come in there as Banjo in another season where we can't... Oh, that's another thing. The bee can only be available in spring. Other seasons, you can't be a bee. Because the transformation doesn't work in the other seasons. Bumbo will actually be doing things in the other seasons. And, uh, oh, come on. Hard to do this. This is really hard to fucking control. Thank you. Just gonna walk slowly. Okay. Also, really easy flying around all this stuff. It's like flying it makes you go a lot faster, so I'm not gonna argue. You also notice that only one per season after this. And they're also color coordinated for the season. Pink, pink is the only one that isn't really color coordinated because pink is under the lawn. That's actually in a beehive, so it doesn't count. It's everything. I'm not going to transform back because it can save a lot of time not doing that. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Go up there, Mr. B. There you are, that was fast. Can you fly around looking for it? These aren't hurt by fall damage, so... And 
the bee is allowed in the hub area, but he's not allowed in the uh, other seasons. And I'll show you guys in a second here. I'm just going to demonstrate that. But the bee is allowed in Gratilda's lair. So... That's useful. Mumbo magic gets weak. Blah, 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 blah. I have not yet found a way to move jump out and play as the bee in this level. But I can see it being useful. Are you really hungry now? I need five caterpillars. Oh yeah, items are like invisible here too. There's the most impossible ginger in the game. Is this random hives of beads? The bees beads bees without honeycomb jaggers? Eat hungry animals like caterpillars. Let's go break this for him. You look pretty strong. Can you mount this bottle there for me? Wow, what strength! Come inside and I'll give you a reward. I do like rewards. But uh, we can't climb up there, we're too weak. Or slow or whatever. Well, Banjo's not good with swords, let's say that. Get that caterpillar. Caterpillar. There's no caterpillar here, it's just a switch. Now we've unlocked falls this season, it's cool. Also, summer doesn't go very fast. It goes really fast. I think that may or may not be a joke. But, uh, yes, the summer goes really fast in this game. And, uh, like, it's, it's like, not even half a level. Like, spring is half a level. This is just, like, a little, not even a fraction of a level. Oh my god, I'm terrified of dying in this level. <laughs> I do not want to die. That would not be cool. Now also, you're going to notice right here, um, a familiar face will show up. Birch. You dumb birch. Oh no, it's you two again. Gobi thought he was safe here. Let me hit you, thank you. Let me hit you, thank you. Will you stop doing that? It took me ages to find more water. Okay, also, um, this one ping right here, you'll need to have completed Gobi's Valley to get. So, if you guys are just kind of watching just for this level, go back and do Gobi's Valley before you do this level, because, uh... And he also says he's gonna. Oh, not yet, not yet. It's a part later where he says he's gonna go to the fire world. And, uh, the fire world is actually a beta world that was removed called Mount Fire Eyes. And it doesn't exist anymore. And from what people have seen, it looks like a pretty cool level. And to my understanding, I'm not sure if this is true, but it was supposed to be the fire side. Or maybe even all of, um, Hailfire Peaks in the second game. Like, if it was all of Hellfire Peaks, it wouldn't have had the ice side, obviously. Unless eyes was pronounced ice, not fire ice. Oh my god, I just thought of something that no one thought of. Ouch. Thought of yet. Let's see what Mumbo's got. Oh, oh who hot for magic? Mumbo sunbathing. Mumbo is not affected by the time. This is affected by the time. Not affected by the time travel. I don't know. Get up there. Okay, stop being silly. I wasn't even. I was just jumping in. Mumbo talking. And we have that. That's good. I almost never fly in this game anymore. Like, not unless I actually have to. I'll never use them anymore, because they don't really... Like, I used to, like, just rely on flying to get around. But, uh... I don't think I'm like that anymore. Also, getting down from here is a true pain in the ass. And also, there's two paths. It's like, this sucks. 
That was easy. That was easy. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're watching this video, you are lucky as hell. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, glitches are lovely. I'll see you guys in the next one, where we will conquer, um, the rest of this level. See you then!